Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the second game between Damaga and Select. Yeah. We have our Zerg Damaga and our Terran Select D. Yes. My name is Ataku Scott and I'm joined again by Vince. What up? And in the last game, looks like Select won that one. We're going to see how this one goes over. Hopefully, Damaga will win. This map we're playing on is GSL Metropolis, a modified the, version of the map. In my personal opinion, it is ugly, it's probably, aesthetic wise. Aesthetically, yeah, it doesn't look like it's totally complete. It's bland. There could be more cool stuff lying around. Not a single automaton to be seen. Like, it has some cool features, like the street signs, but overall, it, I do not find it aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, that doesn't mean that it's a bad map, because a map, in terms of gaming, should be based on balance and how well it plays. I completely agree with you, but as it can do that, the map makers can still make it look pretty. Yeah, I think they just rushed this out to get it for uh, time for a tournament. <laughs> Most likely. So it looks like we got a standard build coming from both players. No six pool, no proxy barracks. That overlord's going to find the base really quick. So we got a gas coming up, an early gas from select. Uh, Actually, no, that's right about on time. That's not early. I don't see any cheese coming from Select anytime soon. No, and we see the expansion going down for Damaga. Totally normal to do this. Just like last time. Looks like both players are probably going to be using the same build. However, Damaga went a heavy upgrade build last time. And it didn't really seem to work out for him. So we're going to see what he does this time that's different. I think he went heavy upgrade just to keep up with his opponent, though. Because if you have zero upgrades or like 1-1 one, one compared to 2-2 two, two or 3-3, three, three, you're going to get rolled when it comes time for battle. So the first Marine's already out. He's going to start scouting. Oh, looks like we've got a bunker in the expansion. <laughs> hey, select. Marine's, hey, a Marine statue. But yeah. There's uh, he a already bunker. spotted it. I, I think he's going to get... I well, it was pretty obvious it. to spot because it's touching his hatchery. I, th I think he should have put it behind the mirror line, but then again, there's also an overlord literally right there. Yeah, this is going to get like stopped. He's, he's probably just going to cancel it. No oh, we got that marine. Oh, uh, that marine. Do some work. It's not doing work. In the production tab, we see that there's a factory and a reactor being built. He's probably going to go for Hellions again. But that worked look, okay for him not, uh, last time. Yeah, so there's also a pretty wide open area at the natural, you know? It, oh, you, could, you could definitely scoot around in there, do some jig-jagging, fire-spitting. Probably could. If anyone's wondering what these uh, supply depots here are for, these are neutral supply depots used to prevent the opponent from doing a, some sort of cheese, like a cannon rush or a wall-in on the opponent's base. Like, re remember when you were in Ward League and that Protons would build, like, three pylons at your ramp and you couldn't do anything about it? This prevents it. Yes. And the, I, all the all the GSL and uh, MLG maps will have that. I think even if they remove the Neutral Supply Depot, I think there'll be a lot more entertaining games because there'll be a lot more funny cheese going on. There'll be a lot more cheese going on, but you don't want to encourage cheese in I think high-level gaming. I think it'd be funny. Gaming. Cheese is best left for the Wood the League. The amateurs in Wood League. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Damaga is expecting the Hellions again, so he actually threw down a spine crawler. And, and look what we got, Hellions. And we just as we expected, the Hellions. Hey, a blimp. But yeah. So he's he's expecting these Hellions, and he, he was right on the ball. Uh, hopefully that query turn will finish. Let us finish! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah! Oh shit! It finished. Oh wow! They killed but it he with gets AOE it anyways. With AOE damage from the oh. spine crawler, that was smart by my select part. So wasting that energy from the queen. Remember, creep tumors cost the same as a spawn larva, so you have to be careful which one you want to go with. And unless, yeah, of course, but he also you have has two three queens. queens. He has. He has. He has one queen per base plus an additional queen. 
Yeah, I think it's pretty good. If we look at this up. production tab, we can see a Baneling nest coming along the way in Stimpak 4 Select. Banelings! Bane ring, Bane ling, Bane lings. I don't think we can use that song. Dude, I don't know. Bane's one of my favorite unit. If you just mask Banelings, you can steamroll any army. I don't care what it is. You can steamroll them if you know how to use them. You can steamroll them if you don't know how to use them. And we got a Star Wars coming from Select, made with some Banshee play just to... Just to do that. Yeah, he didn't do that last time, so maybe a Banshee play will be effective. Dude, if I had Hellions at my front, Banshees at my back, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd be like, GG. shit. Just like GG right there. Yeah. No, and but of course, Spire. Spire. That Spire coming up. I think he's pretty good. And an Evo Chamber. So for this time, it actually looks like Demog is, is ahead of the supply. We actually see Select is supply blocked. Wow, he is. Building some supply depots, that's gonna take a while to build. Yeah, but he already has a command center on the way. Looking like he's gonna go for an early third. Beating his... Well, we don't his, know... Uh, we, Zerg opponent. We don't know if it's gonna be a third. It could be a macro, like, orbital. True, it's true. He might be using... Yeah, that actually makes sense. Using a macro orbital? Macro orbitals are amazing, dude. You get so much more income. Well, you could use them for the mules. Mules, Tomsats, they just have so much variety, and I would like to see Terran use them more often, because I think they could be a big asset in victory. One thing I never see Terran do is using that, uh, call down extra supplies Because ability. it's not really... Because if you're doing your build correctly and on queue, you don't need it. It's I think it should like just be like a thing that you... Yeah, and I think when you're when you're in the middle of a fight and you need to get guys out, let's say to yeah, destroy some of your supply depots. Yes, we're emergency too. He actually has one on his ramp. And he's pushing out with a big handful of marines, two medivacs, and, two, and four hellions. And he's also four double hellions. expanding. Yeah, there's four. Oh yeah, Going we can the, see yeah. the double expansion from Damaga. Yep, you just have four hellions. So yeah, that is just a macro orbital. Well, it could be left off later, though. Definitely. After he's... When he needs a third, he can just use it for that. Oh, he's engaging. Taking out the creep. Oh, those Hellions got de decimated. He spots the Banelings and uses the Hellions to soak up the Banelings. That was a good That's move on his play. part, but he just got outmassed there. And it looks like he's going for a counterattack, and these select is going to be pretty prepared for this. Well, he's got he's got his bunker here, and he's got a uh, wall. He has no sea shank on the high ground, though. No, but he has one right behind the bunker. Of yeah. course, if he's not careful, those mutas will just fly over everything. That's true. But he's he's evolving some banelings to get past this. Looks like he's gonna start. Is he gonna start uh, working on this wall? Eighteen, oh. eighteen banelings. Uh, let's see. He has 18 bane lanes. Let's see if he can bust it. He busted it. That was no, you're, great. you're ahead of me. Uh, but it was pretty obvious that he busted. Busts right through. Taking out the siege tank. Bring, pull the SCVs off the line to fight with those zerglings. Gotta fight them zerglings, man. So it looks like he still was able to hold off this push. Yeah, but overall he's still ahead in supply. Yeah, the oh, is still wow. ahead. He is 78, 80 drones to 47. I think he needs to stop drone production. He has enough, in my opinion. Then again, he's, he is operating off of four bases. Yes, but there's a time and place for 80 drones. Right now, it's not one of them. Wow, he is way oversaturated at his second expansion. He needs to migrate some of those over to his yeah, third. Yeah, I can see that. He's probably doing just that. I was my want to bust you know what? the rocks. Yeah, that's probably what he's waiting for. He's probably getting some lings out to bust it down. Or maybe not. And Select is finally expanding. Oh, there's a zergling, pesky zergling there. Delaying the expansion. And he's also building quite a handful of tourists because he is paranoid.
But it looks like the Muta Ball has dwindled down. It's just uh, Lings right now. He has nothing but Lings, five Mutas, four Queens, and that is it. Nothing else. He does have 74 Lings, though. That's a lot of Lings. I don't know. I've seen, I've seen many more. But hey, they only cost, what, one food each? Yep, and he's working... Yeah, technically they cost. Yeah. And he's working on 2 2 for melee upgrade. And he's making 52 more lings. Oh wow, he lord. Is, he's straight up going for a ling bling muta. Like, that is his ideology of this game. And he's morphing 40 bane lings. Making 40 lings. This is gonna be entertaining to watch. <laughs> well, why don't I just realize? Lings on the way. Why don't I just realize? If you go to the top left or bottom right, there is a neutral creep tumor blocking island yes, expos. Yes, there is. Well, I did not realize that until just now. Meaning you have to get there, destroy it. Is there harassment you... going on? Is there there was. Light? There was a harassment drop which took care of an overlord, putting Demaga supply blocked. I was wondering where that was. You can see. There's the medevac right there with that drop. Four mutas versus eight marines and medevac. Those mutas are not gonna win. I didn't really see that favoring them. If we look at the units tab, he has 99 drones. Wow. Oh he lord. He needs to start making a bunch of macro hatches, in my opinion, to keep up with his heavy production if his income rate is so high. Which it is, 2,700 2, a minute. His income is booming. Whoa. He needs to start making some macro hatches. And he just completely nuked the expo. And he's attacking the second expo. I am not seeing much hope for select. It, he's 2k supply income behind Delmaga. Oh, we got an Ultralist then on the way along with a crack upgrade and a greater spire. Wow. This is. Wow. It looks like he was able to hold off the push. The drop on the main. And the drop didn't really accomplish much. But he is pushing through mid. Looks like he's mean, ready to attack. Yep, he's coming in through here. Looks like Select has actually been supply blocked from the original attacks. He is ready to drop right into the 4th Expo. And here he comes! Yep, Ultra is on the way and Greater Spire almost complete. Ah, uh, all those things just flew right past. You, there's a huge line of links going down the map. I just find that humorous, I don't know why. And look at this, he has no anti-air right now, so these medevacs can just fly around whatever they want. Yes, but there's also... It also means that there's no army to defend against attacks. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 104 lings. He needs to back those drones up. Only one Muta, but he's got a hundred, over a hundred lings. Yeah, we look at this unit tab, and in all of war, I honestly think at the moment, Demaga could win. Three, three, almost done for Demaga, along with the, along with the chain. Chitin is plating for Ultralists. Ah, can't pronounce that. Oh, 
Looks like this push has been cleared no. out. There's a drop on the bottom of three marines. I got cleaned up relatively quickly. Huh, the bottom expo, most bottom expo, well, bottom left. Both of his geysers only have two harvesters compared to the usual three. Don't know if that's an accident or some sort of timing. And he's rolling out with a bunch of, with a big handful, quite big handful of Zerglings, Banelings, and Ultralisks. Well, what, he has 11 Ultralisks. Quite a, quite a hefty number. And he's finally throwing in some Infestors. Just like last time, late with the Infestors. That but he's got really a maxed out army. He's pushing with a maxed out army right now. That is true. He is rolling this at the moment. Oh, it looks like he's gonna get. He's catching the uh, planetary before it's done. He's gonna destroy it. Here we got a major engagement going on here. Trying to push up that ramp. Still no anti-air, so... I don't think he's worried about air at the moment. Looks like this base is being cleaned up by the MAGA. Still a little fight left in him though, let's see... Let's see how this can fare over. He's got the Zerg trapped in this choke point here. Oh, that's Mongol! Looks like he's holding them off here pretty well for now. Those infestors need to do something. And they're all dying. He's trying to re-expand at the... I would say 3 o'clock expo. Fungals here on the army, but it looks like they're just gonna be taken right out. Yep, there go the infestors. Oh Christ, you are behind me. Yeah. Blizzard really needs to make it so that two people can simultaneously watch one replay. Yes, hopefully that that'll be another thing they'll add in the uh, Heart of the Swarm. Hopefully. So some of these drones are finally vanishing when he pushes them into something else. Probably. Spine crawlers and whatnot. Oh wow. He has 62 drones compared to Select's 22 SCVs well, and remember, 4 mules. Remember, Damaga did do a heavy attack on them there. I know. Right now, if you look at the income, uh, Select is significantly behind, but slowly catching up through the power of mules. Oh, there's a drop on the 4th Expo. It got cleaned up. Well, this is another one that I've missed. No, it's this one. Right drop here. in the main. Here's the drop in main.
Oh yeah, look at all these spine crawlers. That's a lot. Dude, he has that creep highway going straight down mid. Not something you want to let your Zerg opponents do. Otherwise, I don't think it's, it's something you don't want anyone doing. Well, only Zergs. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you don't see Protoss with Creep Highway, I can tell you that. And probes with Creep Highway, did. that would be, cause that would actually ruin Probe gameplay. Uh, Protoss gameplay. Because then, you wouldn't be able to build anywhere. You can't build yeah. on the Creep. I think everyone's aware of that. Right now we have a rather large engagement going to select. In my honest opinion, I think Demaga is going to take this game hands down, unless he pulls one hell of a miracle. The engagement's about to start here. Up, oh. GG. Hey, da, 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 da. Don't spoil it. What do you think's going to happen? <laughs> this is going to be a GG here for certain. <laughs> he's going to see this massive swallow units and he's just going to be like, nope. Just taking those heavy losses, marching into his main here. Oh my god. 150 to 30. That's the game. That was a doozy. There's a significant time delay. Yeah, right, Fraps does that. I'm gonna have we to try and record him with something else. Bandit cam. Okay, anyways. That's actually... That puts them at 1-1. One, one. Oh, we better have some maybe sort there, of tiebreaker. Maybe there's a third game, or maybe this was just a friendly little... Skirmish. Yeah, really just practice games, but I don't know. We'll check for a third. If there is, you guys will know. Thanks. See you guys next time. Goodbye.